This video has been made possible by Rebus Farm, the professional render service. Hey everybody and happy new year and welcome to the first video in 2017 and today we are going to model a meadow. Okay, so let's uh, jump in and have some fun. Here we go. Hey everybody and welcome to the first tutorial of 2017. Uh, well, today we're going to do a, a meadow and we're going to use paint effects to do that. And uh, I got this idea after looking at a piece of art created by uh, John Rafford, a good friend and a very talented artist. So uh, yeah, that's what we're going to do, right? So we're going to start with a polygon plane. In our modeling menu, we're going to hit R to scale that up. and. Let's do something like so, all right? Now, you technically don't necessarily need a polygon plane as a floor because you can also use paint effects uh, without this plane, but we're gonna use it anyway because we will be able to kind of manipulate the, the surface of uh, the ground and make that look uh, cooler, okay? So I'm gonna hit Control A to pull up the attribute editor and I'm gonna increase the poly count to about 20 by 20. Okay, and that way we can manipulate the surface a little bit because a grass field or a meadow is never completely flat. Okay, we're gonna right click at a vertex, and as you can see, I got some red and yellow going on there. That's because I hit B on my keyboard. If you hit B, you get soft select. And now, if I select a certain area of vertices, the surrounding area that's colored will be impacted as well. So if I hit W and raise that up, you can see that the entire surface is moving control Z to go back and if I hit B to turn that off it's just that area okay now you don't want to be uh, too big on impact on your plane here so we're just gonna downsize that a bit so again we're gonna select some vertices hit B and we're gonna hold down the B and left click and drag to decrease that area to something like that right and then we're just very, very slightly going to tweak this area. Don't make it into hills or anything like that, just so it's not completely flat. Okay. We're going to hit B on our keyboard to turn that off, and our ground set is uh, our ground is set. Okay. Now what we're going to do next is go up to display and turn off the grid, and we're going to start to paint our grass. Now, why paint? Because we are going to be using paint brushes to paint that on for flowers, grass, and so forth. Uh, before we do that, uh, one thing I want to do is uh, set up this plane here with a grass texture. So if we miss a spot or something like that, we will still have the sense of grass. Okay. So I'm going to right click go to object mode. Normally we would have to UV this, but because it's a complete square, if we go to UV editor, you can see that it's all set up correctly. Okay. So I'm going to right click, assign new material, we'll do a Lambert, we'll go into our attribute editor, hit the checkered box there, go to file, folder, and on my desktop I have a grass texture, like so. So if we hit this checkered ball up here, there's a grass, all right? Now that we have that, what we're going to do next is we're going to start to paint on grass. Now we're going to go into our modeling menu. We're going to go to generate brush. Uh, where is it? Get brush here. And as we do that, we get this menu and it has all sorts of options here from uh, trees. Uh, I don't know, uh, fire, all sorts of stuff. We're going to select our grass here. Okay. Now we got a grass carpet. We got, uh, let's see, grass clumps and so forth. So we're going to start with the grass carpet. We're going to click on it and just move this out of the way for a sec. And as we do that, you can see that this now has changed into a red circle with a little paintbrush. Okay. Now holding down B and left click and dragging as before will impact the uh, size. So if I now release that B and left click and drag, very large grass elements. Okay. Hit Control Z to go back. And I'm going to hold down B again and bring that way, way down. And now it looks much more subtle. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to just start to brush over our grass here in all sorts of directions. 
and just clicking and dragging. And now and then you can hold down that B key and just slightly make that a bit bigger because not all grass has the same height. And you don't want to uh, go in the same direction all the time, okay? So just keep on going like so. And I'll just have a quick look here. Okay, starting to look. Uh, maybe just increase that size just a bit more. And of course you would normally take your time and do this properly. I'm trying to do this quick uh, for the sake of the tutorial. But we're getting there. You can see that the grass is working nicely. And make sure every time you pull that up that you kind of fling it into a certain direction so it doesn't look too uniform. Okay, so we got that. We're gonna bring this guy back in. We're gonna go to our uh, grass clumps like so. Gonna go back in and we're gonna hold B and increase that a little bit. Let's see if that's too high. Yeah, a little bit. So we're gonna hold down that B key and bring that down. Yeah, it's still a bit big. Control Z to go back. Hold down B and scale it down some more. Now they are grass clumps, so they should kind of stick out a little bit. So we're just gonna kind of throw a few in there. And again, you can change the size uh, if you want during that process. And again, I'm not gonna go on with this too long for the sake of the tutorial. We're gonna go back in. Let's see what else we got. We got, uh, let's see. Some narrow grass here. We'll do a few of those. Okay. And basically the more attention for detail you have on this process, the better it will look, uh, obviously. Um, but again, I just wanna give you an example, okay? Now let's say we're done with our grass here. What we can do next is, uh, for example, take a number of uh, flowers. So uh, let's see, where are they? And right here. And again, we're just gonna start by selecting and adding some flowers in our field in the various positions. Let's uh, switch that up with some different type of flowers. Uh, we'll take one of these. Take a few of these. And again, scale that down a bit maybe. If you don't want them all to be the same size, we'll take a few of these. couple of these and those I'm gonna kind of scale up a little bit and let's see we'll do one more we'll do this right here okay let's call this done right now uh, the thing is, if you render this out using Mental Ray or Arnold, you will see absolutely nothing. And I will prove it to you. I'm just going to hit Q on my keyboard to get rid of this. Okay, so let's go into our render settings. And if that's not our render settings. This is. Um, come on. Render settings. There you go. 
Okay, so I'm going to select a uh, mental ray, okay? And I'm just going to simply hit IPR render on this guy. And I'll just hit render. And this shouldn't take too long because it's only going to show you the ground plane with the grass texture on it. It's not going to show you the flowers or anything else. Now, the simple reason for that is that everything that we have created just yet, they are paint effects, okay? They're not polygons. So we have to convert that to polygons first, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to drag select all of this stuff. And then we're going to make sure that we don't have that ground plane selected. And we're going to go up to uh, modify, convert, paint effects to polygons. Hit the option box. Here we're going to go to edit and reset settings. And uh, here you can uh, tweak for the color mode if you want. I'm going to leave that alone. Uh, I want quads, so I'm going to select that. Uh, hide the strokes, that's what I want as well. When you pull on your mouse, it sometimes leaves lines on your grid. I don't want that. And here you have the uh, poly count limit. So <clears throat> if you want this to be uh, limited because you need it in a scene where the poly count is an issue, you can uh, keep that quite low. Uh, I'm going to go with, let's say, 200,000. Okay. And I'm going to hit convert. Now this uh, should take a while and it can also affect the layout of what you have created uh, depending on your poly count. Okay. Now this should be okay. But for example, if you have a quite low poly count and you brushed grass all over the surface, once you hit convert, you could lose a section of it or sometimes a large section of it. Okay. So we have that done. Let's go back in and we're going to choose kind of a cool angle to do a render here. Let's try something like this. And it would be nice if we had like a backdrop for sky or something. Okay. So let's take uh, another polygon plane. Let's hit R to scale that out. E to rotate it and hold down J to snap it to 90 degrees. Hit W, push that back. And hit R and kind of scale that back a bit. Now again, this is a square, so it should be okay as far as UV is concerned. We're going to right click and assign a new material. Let's go to Lambert. And I'm going to hit the checkered box. Go to File, Folder. And let's see, I should have a sky here that I can use. There we go. Now I need to rotate it, so hit E to rotate. Hold on J as we do that and let's position it. So hit W and move that up. And you can kind of decide how you want to do that, but for now it's okay. And let's see how we are going to get a nice shot of our meadow here. That in itself is not bad, except for our sky and that needs to be I'm trying to find something that is a bit better for this. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to put in a different image. Okay. So I'm going to go to file again and folder. And I got something here that's kind of a meadow type deal. It's not a meadow, but it has a better sky for this purpose, I think. And I'm going to hit W, bring that up. And I'm just going to position it so it looks like this. All right. Okay, I'm happy with this position. So I'm going to go in and go to View Bookmark, Edit Bookmark. Call this new, apply and close. So this stays in this position when I need it. And then we'll have to put in some light. So I'm going to go into my mental ray settings. And what I'll do here is in my common tab, I'm going to set this to, uh, let's see, HD 1080. In my quality tab, I'm going to bump the overall quality to about one, a little bit over one. Lighting quality is good. 
I'll leave that all alone. Let's see. No, that's good. In our scene, I'm going to go in and um, I don't want a physical sun and sky. Let's see, do I? Actually, we could do that. We could do that. Yeah, we'll give that a try anyway. Okay. Uh, everything else I'm basically going to leave alone for now. Uh, we converted everything, so we should be good. I'm going to go to my bookmark. There we go. I'm going to go up to render, hit render, and I'll see you guys when it's done. Hang on. Well, guys, it uh, took a while, but I think the end result uh, looks okay. As you can see, you can uh, do a lot of things with this. You can just go for plain short grass or make it uh, taller and add flowers. You can add trees, shrubs, anything you like, okay? So this is the basic principle of the matter. If you have any questions, as always, just uh, let me know and I'll help you if I can. And that said, thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time. Bye.